Parents plan funeral for their daughter with cancer then seven words change everything. When a child is fighting a life-threatening illness, it's devastating for the parents. Not being able to make the child better makes them feel helpless. In many cases, they need to start saying their goodbyes. In one particular case, parents were planning a funeral for a 10-year-old with cancer. Then she opened her eyes and said seven words. Abby Furco, an adorable 10-year-old girl, spent most of her life fighting cancer in 2011 when she was just four years old. She was diagnosed with leukemia at the time, the doctors told Abby's parents that there was only a 20% chance that she would survive. Abby's parents were devastated. There's nothing worse than being told that your child is going to die, and there's very little hope over the next six years. Her family did everything possible to make sure that Abby would have the best chance at life. She had a bone marrow transplant chemotherapy radiation and she was part of a clinical trial. Her family surrounded her with love because they knew that at any moment they could lose their little girl forever or cancer caused her to develop numerous infections that were life-threatening. Her family could only watch hope and pray that she would someday get better. Finally, in October 2013 their prayers were answered. Abby completed her treatment and she was finally able to live the life of a normal child. She went to school every day. She was on the soccer team and she was a Girl Scout. Sadly though, the following September, her cancer returned and it was worse than it had ever been. Poor Abby could barely move without feeling pain and she barely spoke. In February 2015, she had another bone marrow transplant to make her better, but it only made her worse. She developed a condition called graft-versus-host disease. It was a condition that caused the donated bone marrow to actually attack the body. Shortly after that, her kidneys began to fail. The doctors put her in the ICU and told her parents that if they took her off dialysis, she would probably die within 48 hours. They told them that it was time to say their goodbyes to Abby. During this time, she was only awake for about an hour each day and they knew that they had to prepare for her passing. Abby was put in hospice care and her grandparents flew in to say goodbye. Abby's parents were choosing a casket for her and picking out the music for the funeral. While they were discussing the funeral arrangements, Abby woke up. She looked at them and said I have so much living to do. It was then that a miracle occurred over the next few weeks she was walking and getting stronger. Her doctors couldn't find a medical explanation for Abby's recovery. She went home from the hospital and the doctors began backing off her treatments. The fewer medications she was on, the better she got. According to her doctor, Jacob Wesseler, Abby was getting better on her own. She had plenty of ups and downs as she started to recover, but she defied all the odds today Abby is in remission. She is on IV steroids twice a day and her prognosis is uncertain, but her family is hopeful they take it one day at a time and they're enjoying making memories with Abby. These are memories they never thought they'd be able to make because for a time they had no hope. Abby's doctor says that she is a medical miracle. He went on to say that she made all the doctors look like fools because she beat the odds. Subscribe for more.